BIS, the Department for Business Innovation and Skills, the Learning Revolution, and Learning Leicestershire. Here to promote informal adult learning. Hi, and thank you for joining me once again. This tutorial is all about Skype. Two follow along guides for this one. We have Skype set up. This talks you through the process of downloading, installing, and creating your Skype username. And there is also the How to Skype follow along PDF for this tutorial. It looks at what Skype is, what hardware we can use, setting up the software, adding friends and making our first call. So get those downloaded from Leicestershire Villages and then we can follow along with the tutorial. Well first of all, what is Skype? Well essentially Skype is a instant messaging piece of software which we can use to have chats with our friends and family. So, hi, how are you doing? And you can have a text conversation with someone over Skype. But you can also use it to have voice conversations with them as well. If I just press this call button here, it would call this person if they were online. I would start ringing them and then I could have a conversation with them. Probably heard that in the background. And that would be a computer to computer phone call. But you could also use it to have an online phone number. You could choose your, choose your very own online phone number and people could ring that from their landline or mobile and your computer would ring. You can also use it to ring other people's landlines or mobiles. If you are going to start using it for that sort of purpose, then you would need to either put some credit on there, you can either use it as pay as you go, or pay a monthly subscription fee. So for example, if you had friends all around the world, you could pay £7.99 a month, that's including VAT, £6.95 without, and then you could have unlimited phone calls to any landline in the world. That is subject to a fair usage policy, but that's a hell of a lot of phone calls for £8 per month through your computer. And I keep saying that Skype is free. Well, it is free as long as you've got an active internet connection. I have an internet connection with unlimited usage, so I could use Skype all day long and it would never cost me a penny. If you pay per minute or per megabyte, then you would have to be aware that if you use Skype lots of the time, then it could incur you extra costs. So there we go, Skype is just a simple way of communicating with people through various methods. So I just showed you there a quick way of communicating with someone over text using our keyboard. But there are other pieces of hardware that we can use to plug in to make the conversations much more visual and with some audio. We could plug in a microphone and that would allow the other person to hear us. We could get some speakers so we can hear them. You may also get yourself a webcam and that will allow the other person to see you. It basically streams a moving image of you to their computer onto their screen. You could get yourself a headset. This has got earphones and a microphone included. So it helps make your conversation private rather than having it blasting out over the speakers so everyone in the office can hear. One other piece of hardware that you can get is a voice over internet protocol phone. This basically plugs into your computer via a USB port and uses the Skype software we've got here to make calls over the internet. So it's just like your home phone, but it's using your Skype account rather than, if you've got a BT, a BT account. So there's some of the hardware that we can get to plug in to help us use Skype. So let's have a quick look at setting up the software ready to make a first phone call. We need to make sure that the software is configured correctly so we can hear other people and they can hear us. All Skype accounts come with this echo service and by pressing call 
it makes a test call to a test service. The service allows you to hear it, you can then record a message and then it plays it back. And that will allow you to see what it sounds like to other people. We can click on this button here called Check Settings. We can see it says here that my microphone is alright, it's going up and down there. My speakers are okay, they're in green. My video isn't enabled for this call, but it would be for another one. My computer speed is okay and my internet connection is live. So I've got all these green lights. If you've got any red lights there, you can click on one of these and it will tell you what sort of problem there is and help you get through those problems. Also in the guide here, I put a few tips. If you can't hear anything at all, if you can hear the test message but you can't hear your message, some good tips there to help you get the software set up. So let's move on to adding friends. It's really easy to add friends to your Skype account. Simply click on new, new contact. Type in the person's name. I'm just gonna type in David, David Blame for some reason. I'll click find. It will search everyone on the internet with that name and give us a big list of all these people. There's quite a lot of people with that name. But let's say my friend was Australian and lived in Melbourne. I could select him and click on Add Contact. I'm not gonna do that because I don't actually know that person. This is why it's good when you're setting up your name um, on the setup guide, creating a Skype username, to put in the country that you're from and the area that you're in. That'll help other people find you, especially if you've got a name like Smith or Brown. I'm gonna just close that and we can move on to making a phone call. Once you have added a friend or a member of the family to your Skype, you can make a phone call to them, a Skype to Skype call get the Skype open, click on your selected friend. I know I don't have any friends in my list, but if you do view this tutorial, you can always add me and I'll be here to answer any questions and we can have a chat on Skype. Basically, you click on your friend and simply click on the call button. Once you've had enough of them, click on end call. I'm. Uh, pretty fed up of listening to the Skype test service, but you can have fun doing that. Let's move on to some of the tips of Skype. Some A really useful tip is changing your Skype status. Simply right click on your Skype icon and change your online status. Let's say you're in a busy meeting, do not disturb and that will make sure that people know not to disturb you. Or if you've had enough of someone in your list, you can simply right click on them and go down to remove from contacts. And there we go, now I don't have any friends. I hope that you watch this tutorial and you add learning Leicestershire as a friend and hopefully I'll have a chat with you at some point. Thank you for watching this tutorial. There's loads more on Leicestershire villages. Uh, post your reply and your comments in the forums and we'll answer them uh, when we can. I've been Nathan Revel, thanks very much and I'll see you in the next one.